Hello everyone and welcome back to Maytech. Today we are going to be looking at the WeCreate Vision Pro but just before we get into this video if you can please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it really helps things out. All right let's jump into this video. Now I've already reviewed the 20 watt version of the WeCreate Vision. If you haven't watched that video already I'll have a link for it in the description below. And since these two machines are very similar, what I'm going to do with the WeCreate Vision Pro is focus on the difference between the Pro and the standard 20 watt Vision. One of the first things you'll notice is the Pro is a larger machine. It has both a larger bed size and a larger work area compared to the Vision 20 watt. The Pro also has a more powerful 45 watt laser module. This module uses WeCreate's new beam focus technology. This allows you to cut both thicker material and also lets you cut faster. The laser module has a super fine spot size, which allows you to engrave more detail. The Pro also comes with WeCreate's Rotary Pro, which allows you to do one pass full wraps on tumblers. Let's first have a look at the difference in the sizes of the machines. To represent this, I've cut these two pieces of plywood to show the working areas of both machines. The standard vision has a bed size of 17.7 .7 by 13 and a working area of 15.9 by 10.6, while the Pro has an increased bed size of 22.8 by 15.7 and a working area of 19.7 by 12.6. This is certainly a decent increase in working area. It not only allows you to fit larger projects into the machine, but it also allows you to fit larger pieces of material into the machine for production. Since this is a powerful 45 watt laser, the first tests we are going to run on it is its ability to cut through a variety of different thicknesses of wood. We'll start by cutting some 1 8 Baltic birch plywood. We'll then move up to 1 quarter Baltic birch plywood. Next will be 3 8 Baltic birch plywood. And we will finish off the plywoods by cutting some half inch Baltic birch plywood. We'll then move on to test cutting some 5 8 white wood. To keep the tests consistent, I'll be cutting the exact same letters out of each piece of wood. And each one of these letters will be at the same size of 40 millimeters high. For the 1 8 Baltic birch plywood, we'll be cutting at a power of 100, a speed of 16, and we'll be doing only one pass. Moving on to the 1 quarter Baltic birch plywood, we'll be cutting that at a power of 100, a speed of 7, and we'll only do one pass. Next we'll cut the 3 8 plywood at a power of 100, a speed of 4, and passes set to 1. For the half inch plywood, we will have the settings set to a power of 100, of speed of 5, and we'll have the number of passes set to 2. We are also going to turn on the enhanced cutting feature. This feature lowers the laser focus point after each pass, giving the laser the ability to cut deeper. Last up, we have this 5 8 white wood. The settings we'll be using for that is a power of 100, a speed of 7, We'll be doing three passes and we'll once again have the enhanced cutting option on. Let's now have a good look at the results of these cutting tests. The Vision Pro cut through the 1 8 plywood like butter. It took a minute and four seconds to complete all the cuts and the back of the cuts are really clean. 
It also had no issues cutting through the one quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. It managed to do so in two minutes and 19 seconds. And the back of the cuts are also really clean. On the 3 8 Baltic birch plywood, it took the WeCreate Vision Pro three minutes and 59 seconds to complete the cuts. The reverse side shows a small amount of flashback, which could easily be sanded off. On the half inch Baltic birch plywood, it took six minutes and 27 seconds to complete all the cuts. The back does show some minor surface charring. Like the flashback, this surface charring can easily be removed with some light sanding. There is also a slight bit of charring on the side of the plywood cuts. This is certainly something I would expect from any laser cutting through this thickness of plywood. This charring can be cleaned up by wiping it down with some rubbing alcohol on a cloth. And let's finally move on to the 5 8 white wood. The Vision Pro cut through the white wood in 6 minutes and 58 seconds. Once again, you can see that there is some surface charring on the back. None of it is deep charring. And once again, it's an issue that could be easily cleared up with some sanding. The sides of the cuts are actually really nice. I haven't noticed any charring on the side of this white wood, which was unexpected and definitely a nice perk. The quality of the cuts are actually fairly similar to the quality of cuts I get on my 80 watt CO2 laser. So if you're looking to cut a lot of material, this might be a machine that you want to consider. Now to show you the type of projects you can do with a powerful laser cutter like this, we will put this Vision Pro through a bit of a torture test as we're going to use it to cut this 5 8 laminated white wood into the front of a sign in which I'm then going to add lights to the back for a backlit effect. Cutting material this thick is something that I would normally do with my CNC machine. As in the past, I haven't had great luck cutting material thicker than 3 8 on a laser. But in order to see what is possible to do with a powerful machine like this, we're going to go ahead and do it on the Vision Pro. So here we have all the cuts for the front of our sign laid out in the WeCreate Make It software. We'll be doing all the cuts at a power of 100, a speed of 7. We'll be doing three passes and we will have the enhanced cutting turned on. So here we have the cut sign front. The front came out nice and clean and crisp. The back does have a small amount of light charring, but I'm not concerned about this at all as the back is not something that is going to be shown in this project. The sides also came out nice and clean with no charring. Now I am going to finish the front here with a light sanding and I am then going to finish both boards with a coat of lacquer. Next, I will mount this front piece to the backer board using standoffs. And I will add these lights to the back of the front piece in order to get a backlit effect. I'm not going to show you how this is all done in this video as it's out of the scope of this video and I don't want it to drag out too long. But I will release the how to as a separate short video on my channel if you're interested on how this is all done. So here we have the finish sign. As you can see, I've mounted the front plate with these standoffs here. And I also added an LED strip to the back of the front plate to give it the backlit effect. The LEDs can be turned on and off with this remote. You can also change their color and you can also strobe and pulse them. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my studio lights so we can get a better look at the effect this sign has. So here's what it looks like with my studio lights turned off. The effect here is exactly what I was going for, so I'm quite happy on how this project turned out. Next up, we are going to test the engraving abilities of the WeCreate Vision Pro. This machine has a laser spot size of 0 0.08 of a millimeter, so that should be able to get us some fairly fine details. We'll start by doing some test engravings on this 1 16th birch plywood. So the first image we're going to test engrave is this Aztec themed AI generated image. I'm gonna click on the ignore for processing option here in the Make It software, 
just to make the image transparent so I can properly place it onto my workpiece. Once I have it where I want it placed, I'm going to unclick the ignore for processing option here and it's ready for engraving. For the settings, we are going to engrave this at a power of 43. Now, typically I don't engrave faster than a speed of 200 on most of my machines, as I find going faster can reduce the detail. But since we create does promote the speed of this machine, we are going to push the speed all the way up to 400 and we will be using a line density of 125. Next up, we are going to test engraving this macro image of a spider. I picked this image because of all the fine details in it, which would be a challenge for just about any laser to engrave. For the settings, we'll once again be engraving at a power of 43, a speed of 400, and a line density of 125. With this Aztec image, it did an excellent job on both the detail and the shading. It took about 58 minutes to complete the project, which is pretty decent considering each one of these squares is 200 by 200 millimeters, and that we are engraving at a high line density. With this spider image, I'm actually very impressed that the machine was able to capture most of the fine detail. This image also took about 58 minutes to complete. So, so far the engraving results we got from the Vision Pro are top notch, especially since we had it at the 400 millimeters a second speed. I certainly would not be able to get better results on any of the other machines I've tested in the past. Next up, we are going to do a borax engraving test on this wood canvas. For those of you who have never used this borax method before, basically the borax gives your image a very dark engraving similar to black and white photography. To use the borax, you simply mix it one part borax to 10 parts water. You then apply this mixture to your wood using a sponge. Once the wood is dry, it's ready to engrave. For the borax engraving test, we are going to use the image of this tiger. We'll be engraving it at a power of 13, a speed of 200, and a line density of 125. I turned the speed down from 400 to 200 on this image simply because going faster can smear the borax engraving. So here's the finished borax engraving from the WeCreate Vision Pro. Once again, it did a really good job of capturing detail and shading. As you can see, these borax engravings come out almost like an old style black and white photograph. This engraving took about 86 minutes on a canvas that was 200 by 260 millimeters. With these borax engravings, you do have to give them a clear coat of some sort or they will smudge. I'll simply be using one coat of lacquer because it dries really quick. The last engraving test we are going to do is on this large painted canvas. This canvas has a base coat of white and a top coat of black. We are going to use the WeCreate Vision Pro to burn off the black paint and expose the white paint underneath for our image. For the base coat on this canvas, I used a nice thick white primer. When the white primer was dry, I gave it a surface coat of satin black paint. For reference, this canvas is 410 millimeters by 310 millimeters. Now the reason I picked such a large canvas was to show you the size of project that will actually fit inside the WeCreate Vision Pro. Now I did select another image of a spider, simply because these spider images have a lot of fine details, making them a great benchmark test for any laser. Now I did add some masking tape to the back of the canvas. So you can see the canvas outline inside the software here. In case you were wondering what that was, 
Whenever you're engraving on a painted canvas like this, you want to engrave the negative of the image. And you can do this by simply selecting the invert option in the filters box. For the settings, we'll be engraving at a power of 29, a speed of 400, and a line density of 125. Now I do have some glare here from the studio lights, but if I move this canvas around, you can see that the image turned out just awesome. Once again, the Vision Pro did an excellent job of capturing the fine details. The time it took to finish this canvas was 86 minutes, which is pretty decent considering the size. Now to finish this canvas off, I am going to give it a coat of satin lacquer just to keep it protected. Let's now move on to testing the rotary system. The Vision Pro comes with the Rotary Pro. The Rotary Pro has these expanding cams. And unlike we create standard rotary, which only uses a plastic jaw system, this new cam system allows you to grip the inside of tumblers. And this allows you to do one pass full wrap engravings on the tumblers. This cam system is fairly easy to use. You simply place the rotary into the head of the tumbler. You then turn the chuck expanding the cams, which holds the tumbler into place. The Rotary Pro also comes with all the attachments that the standard rotary came with. So you do have the ability to mount different sizes of jaws to it if needed. And it also comes with these pins so you can engrave items like rings. There is also an adjustable support included in case you're doing heavier items. In order to test the Rotary Pro, we're going to engrave one of these large Stanley style tumblers. The first thing you want to do is go up to the settings and turn off the option for non-working area of rotary. You can see that the red non-working area has now been removed from the preview. This is because the Rotary Pro allows you to engrave the whole tumbler at once. Now I have placed this piece of yellow paper under the tumbler just so you could see it better here in the preview. The image I'm going to engrave is this Bigfoot themed full body wrap. As you can see, it's made up of two designs, one that's engraved on the top of the tumbler and another which is engraved at the bottom. of. Normally you would have to engrave these as two separate projects, but because of the Rotary Pro, we can do these both at once. For the settings, I'm gonna use a power of 40 a speed of 305 and a line density of 125. After you have all your settings in place, you can use the 3D preview to get a actual 3D preview of what your tumbler is going to look like. That looks good to me. Let's go ahead and engrave it. And here's the finished tumbler. After I finished engraving it, I did wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol and a cloth just to get off any of the residue from the engraving process. As you can see, the tumbler turned out quite nice. And once again, I'm quite happy with the performance of the Vision Pro. So what's my conclusion on this laser? Well, after having ran it through its paces, I find it to be both a capable and adaptable laser and it should be a great addition to any workshop. If you want to find out more information about this WeCreate Vision Pro, there'll be a link in the description below. If you have any questions for me, please make sure to post them in the comment section and I will get to those as quick as possible. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to do so and hit that notification bell. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye.